Hey, my trendies, trendsetters, and my trendy tribe. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Let me know if you can hear me. Boy, 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 boy. Okay, cool. Woo, between YouTube and stream, y'all, it's already showing some weird stuff. Okay, thank you, Danny. Okay. We're going to do greetings. I don't have my video up today, so let me just go ahead and let's do the greetings. One second here. And then we're going to talk about a few things. Obviously, what's in the title we're going to talk about. Okay, let me see here. Um, oh, let me do my greetings. Then I'll I have to remember to talk about the, the main thing that changed. Okay. Hey, Connie Jones. How are you? Hey, Flower Bloom. My sweet sis, 41 Fit. Hey, my legal eagle, Shan, part of the mod squad, as 41 Fit is, Deborah Johnson, Lady T-Bug, hey, uh, let me see, Deborah Jackson, I see you, let me see, hey, Mama Bees, Purple Unicorn, Karen Carter, Thee Thee, PN2 Ross, Uppity, my unisys, my cerebral sis, who is a content creator, also part of the mod squad. Lady T Bug is also part of the mod squad. <laughs> she is a content creator as well. Um, she I saw some new content. I got the alert about your uh city girl mayor, uh, Lady T Bug. Let me see here. Let's see, let's see. I'm going down, I'm going down. Hey, Joy S Pick, Monique, Brenda Wallace, mm -mm -mm. Regina Ashby. J28T, Crystal Gal from Barbados. <laughs> My degree is real. <laughs> My degree is real. Hey. Um, hey, Red. Yes. Let me start your comment so we can talk about that live. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. Going down. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Sandra Sanderson. TD Love. One of my fitness people up in here. Journey to Jasmine, middle sis, also a content creator. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. And Elisa Triplett, I see you. Okay. I'll put a timestamp. As long as I have time, I'll put a timestamp after so y'all can skip the greetings if you're in the replay gang gang. Um, first of all, I changed the title and thumbnail because I don't want to overshadow Charnita. So therefore, that's why it's like, if you set a reminder and then the reminder don't look like what the title was, I don't want to overshadow anything she has going on. So that's why you don't see it still saying like the review and everything. So uh, there will be Charnita news, but I don't know when. And I didn't want to keep leaving y'all hanging. I kept hitting the delay. 
which I just got through making fun of Journey to Jasmine yesterday for doing it. And I always, I be giving Queen Sheba a hard time <laughs> about that. Like in my head, I ain't really told her I be seeing her change her time like that. But um, I didn't want to keep pushing the time. So we're going to talk about other stuff while we wait on that news. So there, that, I just didn't want to overshadow or mix the two because... Charnita don't deserve what was about to <laughs> what we what, what this is gonna be. Okay, so um that's still coming. I just don't know when and I can't wait to know. Okay. You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna pull up the stuff so we could look at it together. You know what? Mm, I don't wanna do this. This this is what happened. Let me tell you why I'm on here. I got through watching Here for Hot Tea's video and I was like, oh, oh, she ran her from Genesis to Revelations. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> but she that's the thing. One thing Here for Hot Tea is going to do is she's going to call out the tangible details that you seem to skip over, you know. So real fast. Hey, Chef Dardan. See you tonight. He says, see you tonight and be ready. Oh, chef, chef. Why, why, why are you going to surprise us on these topics, though? Like, you know, you you, you diabolical right now, chef. Because <laughs> he won't tell us what we're going to talk about. He's going to pop the topic up on us <laughs> without telling us what it is. Um, and since you're in here, because I know you're busy, you got to prep, too. I'm, I'm going to have to skip around. We're going to come back to Stormy. Don't worry. Um, hmm. Where's that? There it goes. Okay. I don't even know what we're going to talk about, so I can't even tell y'all. But you already know, between Chef and Jay Taylor, it's going to be a lot of giggles. And then you add me. I, I Laughing better not get on your nerves, because it's going to be a lot of it. He said, I need that real-life reaction. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I got to do my hair after this, too, Chef. I'm all in too. I'm all in. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Hey, chit chat with QT. Trinity. I see you, big sis. <laughs> oh my gosh. I oh my gosh. Y'all, 845 Central Standard Time, 945 Eastern Standard Time. You just gotta be over there at Chef Don Don's YouTube channel. Okay. And once I ain't going to say it because he's still going to have something to say. I ain't going to say it. But eventually, we'll also, you know, we'll be able to see it from Jay's channel, too. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to say nothing else. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing else. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But it's it's going to be good. It seems like, okay, I am, I'm just ready. So, y'all be over there, okay? Please. And, oh, and when you come over there, I need you to drop the emojis for the Trendy Tribe. Hold on. I'm putting it in here so I can show y'all. Don't be laughing, <laughs> Um, but drop the emojis. I know we be crossing over, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see some Don Don's chef emojis as well as the trendy emojis, as well as candles until Jay Taylor decides if he got a different emoji that he's gonna do. Um, so yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> you all, you are always driving. Look at you out and about in the streets. She outside. Chit chat outside. <laughs> oh my god. Um, y'all, I wish a lot was said during the Instagram live. That's the thing. That's why Red Ann put uh trending. <laughs> she said your IG live was nice. Thank you, Red Ann. We're gonna we're gonna recap some of that live. That's what we're gonna do. In fact, oh, do I have it? If I have it on my desktop, I'm gonna show y'all how they was acting up in the live. That's what I'm gonna do because I can't recapture. The, the thing that was just already happening on its own. Um, but they was cutting up in that live a lot. And it's about Stormy. Uh, it was it was about Charnita too. And it was about uh, Chef Don Don. And then they, they were, I came in about Stormy though, because I was like really giving a little bit of grace. And I was like, oh, she was on messy time. And I was not, I'd be forgetting who we'd be dealing with. Let me see. Oh, view archive. There it go right there. Okay. 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 Hold on. I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. Let's see. Oh, those are stories. Boy, you try to figure something out and that ain't it. Okay. 
Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm on here and it's not as planned. And I'm sorry, I seemed a little I seem a little scatterbrained because I was going to wait. And so I but I gotta get this off. I gotta get this off my chest. I'm gonna repeat some of the things I said in my live while I try to get the live over to y'all so you can see it through StreamYard. Um Plus, I'm on camera, you know, because I was live on Instagram. I'm on camera for the ones that don't always get to see me on camera. <laughs> this girl. Oh, my gosh. Is this what it's about to be like? One second, y'all. One second. Trying to multitask does not always go so well. All right. We getting there. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody that's coming in. All right, so Stormy is doing this thing where she is complaining about millimeters because, I mean, I guess it's just the old, tired, tried and true thing. And yes, 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 for the people that are going to say it, I know that they like when we talk about them. I just, that's why I choose not to always talk about them. But when I want to talk about them, it's in me and I want to talk about them. <laughs> um, so this is one of them times I want to talk about it. So Stormy posted a gold chess piece. And when I went live this morning before the, the second one, I went live early morning. That's the one I left up in my feed. Uh, they were like, Trini, Stormy out here posting a gold chess piece. And I'm like, oh, is it for her son chess? And they trying to give me the context. Like, no, nah, girl, she out here posting a gold chess piece and then ranting about millimeters and stuff I, and I just I guess I just was not catching on too much but I did of course see the meme that money making melody fan page left but I didn't put I don't know why I didn't put two and two together I think because I'd already came on with a, a game plan of what I was going to talk about on that live and it just wasn't clicking Steven it was not clicking um so <laughs> so this is what Stormy uh posted so I'm gonna read it and I know y'all have heard it a few times, but I got to read it again so I can make sure I give the comments I want to talk about. So I'm, I'm going to read it as she wrote it. To and I'm going to try to read it as she wrote it. Um, it says, let's get into some things. People love to throw your past in your face, but let me run this right quick. Today, in all caps, I have the top selling beauty product on TikTok and Canvas is arguably one of the fastest growing brands in the world. Um. Look, I don't, okay. Great for you. Here we go. Great for you that you do have or possibly have one of the top selling products on TikTok. Great for you. Great. Um, the fastest growing part is what's kicking yo behind. Because as you she put in her Instagram, oh, it was been a few months now. This was 2023-ish, early 2023. She had put in there that she wanted to teach other businesses how to scale up. That's what she wanted to put in there, right? All right, that's what she wanted to teach. Does anybody have any evidence that she understands how to scale her business before she tries to teach others? So for me, and oh, let me put my banner up, in my opinion, that does scream scam if you're trying to teach something you actually are not proficient in. That doesn't make any sense to me. So, okay, so let's let's just say you're the, one of the fastest growing brands. Can you do better on handling that? Because that's where your criticism comes from when it when on the business side is that you're not handling that. Um, you you keep flexing on the gram, overextending. And we can talk about it because these are our opinions and this is something we want to talk about. And again, I changed the title and the thumbnail. So if anybody come in here now or later talking about they didn't want to hear about Stormy, I don't understand that because I did not catfish you as Journey to Jasmine would say, I did not catfish you with my thumbnail. So just don't, don't click on the thumbnail. So we're talking about it. Okay. Um, I have dealt with hella growing pains in business from from being late on orders to getting an F rating on BBB from back in 2020 when I made 23 million in sales and couldn't ship orders fast enough, etc. If you made 23 million in sales and we do have to subtract your unnecessary overhead because you have a lot of land that you, I, I keep guessing that she bought when she got that Apex loan. I'm not saying that that's fat. I just keep guessing because the timeline is kind of similar for me. 
Um, why did you get $23 million in sales, but you cannot pay to keep up? You can't pay the shipping and freight companies that were shipping your stuff. They had to sue you. You can't pay your American Express bill. They had to sue you. You can't. This is alleged on them. This is what they're saying when we look at your stuff. I, I didn't say this. Courthouse said this. Um, you can't pay the staffing company for your business because 23 million should last you a few years. And I'm being facetious when I say a few years. Um, 23 million should last you a long ASS time. Um, so I don't understand how that did not come and carry over to when you grew so fast that you made $23 million in sales, minus your warehouse overhead. And we already know you hire a family, so you ain't had that many employees. And the way, uh, <laughs> and this ain't me saying this, but I agree with this, but I, this did not originally come from me. I just want to say that. In fact, almost every criticism I have does not originally come from me because we all observe the same thing. So I'm, I'm sorry when I forget names that are saying it, but this is not just coming from one person. Um, but Junior went to go work at... <laughs> He went to go work at a restaurant rather than stay working with you because I feel like you were a bare minimum paying them, maybe not minimum wage, but not enough for the hours they put in. Or I just feel like you didn't even, this is all me just guessing that you did not pay them for the actual hours they put in. I feel like you put too many titles and, um, and positions on one person to manage. And then, then you come back and say, they're the ones failing you as a team, as a family and all this other stuff. But I feel like you failed them with not getting them proper staffing and support and splitting up and delegating the uh, issues or the titles and everything. Um, he, sorry, not he. Uh, well, yeah, he junior is also, I'm just saying, if I had a good working for my family and I did my part as well, I, I don't want to cheat my family. I would not go work for a restaurant. I would stay with my family. That boy said, I'm good. <laughs> I'm okay. I will go work for this restaurant. Um, and she, here's, okay. So anyway, the 23 million, I'm really focused on that because reading that is crazy, Stormy. Like, why couldn't you pay? Why did your car have to get repossessed? I know they gave it back, but your car got repossessed for a debt. Then you paid the debt, so they gave you your car back. Um, why did you even have to get to that point again? Um, why couldn't you pay Dominion to get your products out? And then that's why Courtney had to go and they were trying to hustle to get that shipment out during the expo, but then they got the labels wrong, which is not the only time because you yourself have posted when you've done that before. Um, why are you blaming post office employees when they have the pick of the litter around Black Friday? I'm not saying that they would take anything, but I'm just saying they're not going to notice your stuff and, and and just skip over all the luxury brand stuff that's going on. Like I, you can't, you can't convince me that that's it. And then that slip of paper that she showed, girl, do you know somebody at the post office that wrote that on the oldest piece of memo paper ever, but the post office employees retired and current was real upset about that. Don't blame them. They didn't take your stuff. Um, but don't no. And then you keep decreasing the quality once somebody likes something, apparently, because your original, original people that like the whole body glaze are like, now it's like scented Vaseline. It ain't giving what it's supposed to give anymore. Um. Okay, let me read this. Lord, Sharon. Okay, look, I, I'm going to read this, but I'm not channeling that energy for this. But, oh, you know what? Let me see. Oh, they he, well, okay. Let me just read what Sharon said. Let me just read. I, I I don't know what's going on. Okay, Sharon says, guys, AL is back saying he is releasing audio tonight. And remember, Stormy gave him that five hundred dollar super chat that they planned this. Okay, I well, mm, mm, how much how much am I gonna respond to this? First of all, Sharon, let me pop the trunk for you because I do appreciate the super chat. Thank you very much. We going. All right, we going. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. I think Stormy and uh, AL have a parasite host relationship. That's what I think. And honestly, I feel like either could be parasite and host. It just depends on each situation. That's where I can, I'm going to have to put that because honestly, I almost feel like they'd, they'd have to be scared to end their relationship with each other because more so for me, Stormy would have more to kind of lose than him. But I just feel like, mm, Stormy, you're kind of going to be held hostage over there. That's on you, girl. That's on you. 
Um, yes. And, and the point that was brought up by, was it someone in my live or Queen Sheba's live when they said, and then I know here for Hati also said it as well. You keep talking about, we're going to get to that part, I think in her stories, but you keep talking about how someone is, or you t- these stalkers and blah, 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 but you did drop $500 to someone that went to a person's house that we don't care for destiny. We don't care for. Um, and went really far on getting into their things, but girl, I I just feel like you just want to say what you want to say and you don't want to remember the other things that you don't want the people that follow you to see the outside things that's happening. And like, um, here for high tea said, you're trying to use some real good old trigger words out here, like attack and all that stuff, which we're going to get to. So $23 million in sales. You're not paying your staffing company and all the other places and people that we named. Um, then it says, from hiring people who took advantage of me. Who took advantage of you? I, now, I, <laughs> who took advantage of you? Because I also, I'm going to guess that you took advantage of them too. Again, I'm going to say underpaid. That's that's my thing. When I say take advantage, I think they were underpaid and overworked. That's my opinion. That's what you chose to show on one of the seasons that you did not have the duty split well. You didn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all in the chat. I'm not doing this. Danny said, put a name on it. Right. Put a name on it. Don't put the chest piece in there. Put a name on it. Go ahead. What you scared of? Um, then she said, I got hit with lawsuit after lawsuit. Are you okay? But can you say it was debt lawsuits? Not like frivolous lawsuits. They came with their paperwork and their proof and their timelines on why those lawsuits were coming out. You got hit with them because if you, in 2020, you made $23 million in sales and then you were getting hit with lawsuit after lawsuit with the lien on your house from Apex and everything else, that's on you. What did you do with $23 million in sales after taxes, after overhead? What did you do? What did you do with that? Girl, this is crazy. Um, She said, but guess what? I own that. When? When? When did you own that? Because to me, you kept doing everything else. Like you you were deflecting or hiding it. You didn't own it. You might be owning it now because you're kind of saying it, but you're not really giving context of it. But you didn't own it. Um, it says, I'm thankful for that and st- I'm stronger because of it. Is your Dodge game stronger from the process side? Because I don't know what you're stronger from with that. Because And the reason I say that, I'm not, y'all, I'm not making this up. They... They she was dodging them process service because one of them they had to drop their case and reopen it later because they couldn't find her and the it got dismissed, but then they they got it the second time around. So I guess her legs got stronger, I guess. Um, okay, next part of this story. And because of it all, I'm where I'm at today. Where are you? Because I the- <laughs> wait, where are you? <laughs> As D here pointed out, last month was when your car was repoed, given back, but it was repoed first because you had that debt. Okay, they had to chase you down again. Um, <laughs> where are you? Okay, um, all right, Stormy. And today, all caps, the math is mathing. It is not mathing for me. I did not take this kind of algebra and ca- algebra and calculus. It is not mathing for me. I know that you showed off. I heard, I don't know, but I heard you showed off a 3,000 or a sold square foot warehouse, 30,000. I don't know. Some, some warehouse. And yet you still have all this wasted space that you have with this land and that lien that you probably should have on your land too for a tax write off. Um, use that space. This is weird. This is weird. Okay. Um, Danny said she could have used her LMA, LAMH checks to pay her debts, but what do I know? I'm still middle class. Danny, it does seem like every time she's settling, it's around filming time. It do seem like that. That, I'm not going to hold you. Every time I see it, that's what it feels like. Lies more lies said, tell that to Tisha. <laughs> Monique said, all I want to say to Stormy is you talk too much, girl. You never shut up. Right, 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 right. Um... Let's see. Okay, so let's keep going with what she put in her stories. It says the math is mathing again. I I don't agree, but I'm I don't know. I don't agree. Um, the blessings are flowing. God is faithful, and I am thankful. Well, God, God is faithful. And I'm gonna say this: despite how she acts, the blessings 
flow. It just seemed like she don't she don't know how to handle them. Cause they do. I mean, like, cause not everybody can say they're in a big box store, right? Their products in a big box store, like Walmart, Target, and stuff. Not everybody can say that. So it's like I'm level headed enough to acknowledge that it's just weird on how you handle these things, and you still have time to be like mean spirited and plot and scheme uh, to get on a show knowing you knew the background with coleslaw uh hotel and melody like you knew you knew how that was going and you you that's that you used the brand ambassador thing as your face value card but what you honestly knew behind the scenes and who you knew like girl you started off with a horrible foundation hey my sweet sis 41 fish she said hey y'all hey paying my late tax <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, sis. Let me pop that chart because we going. All right, we going. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. Somali Queen said the math ain't mathing because wealthy people don't keep reminding people they got money. Yeah, that's very true. Poverty mentality. I also agree with that. I agree. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Mind you, I dealt with all of this while being on a reality TV show and being harassed and bullied online. If, mm, 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 mm. what do you call what you were doing, but you just thought you weren't going to get repercussions for it? No, I clapped too, J28. When he clapped, <laughs> I be clapping too. Um, I clapped too. So, and again, these are these these whistle words. I don't want to say dog whistle words, but these are these words that you're saying, but it's just, it's, it's people sharing their opinions online and everybody's not going to like you. And you put things out there to just be, I don't know. Everybody tries to accuse Melody of throwing rocks and hiding her hands, but I'm literally seeing your rocks and then your hands going behind your back. Like it's, it's weird. Um... All right. Then it says from being called ugly. I personally have not called her ugly, but I did agree with the Mrs. Potato Head thing. I got to be fully transparent on this. I did agree with the Mrs. Potato Head thing. <laughs> um, big nose. I have a big nose. I'm saying me. Like, I have a big nose. I, I don't care that she has a big nose. I don't like her stank face that she gives. Like, you know, but I, I don't care about her nose. Um, ghetto. I love, I do. I love, I love some ghetto. Um, and I did not personally call Stormy Ghetto, but you know, um, it's weird on how she, I guess she tries to embrace it so it don't hurt her. Cause that whole back and forth with Marceau, she was cool with Ghetto, but then not cool with Ghetto and all this other stuff. But, mm, okay. I, anyway, to people literally campaigning to ruin my business. No, they were can't for, okay. From what I witnessed, people campaign to have you held accountable. That's what the campaigning was for. Having you held accountable. Uh, because let them tell it, I am an op to their fave. Girl, no, it's not that. It's like you literally enable an AB user. It's not about you just being shady or whatever. Like you, you really do some foul things. Like the fact that you do, um, I be really trying not to conjure up the energy of that person. I be trying, but the fact of who you align yourself with is weird. It's um, it shows that you you can't like women too much. You, I just don't see how you can like women that much with who you choose to align yourself with. And I'm one of them. Obviously, I'm talking about would be trash tail, and then there's others. Like girl, she does give resting stank face. She does. She's setting herself up to be hurt again. Yeah. Uh, she, yeah, she set herself up. I don't, and I don't know if she's fragile or plays fragile. Like some people can cry so easily. I am a crier. I be trying not to, but some people be playing about it because they can just get those tear ducts to work. And so I don't even know if I can believe how fragile she is. I'm sorry. I not, not with all the nastiness she keeps spewing. I don't know. Um, Mama B says Stormy just doesn't have good business acumen. She may earn money. She doesn't know how to handle her funds. Right. Right. Vivian says she just don't have it. Okay. Oh Lord. She wrote a lot. She, she had to get it off her chest. She had to get it off her chest. Okay. Um, and then she says their words, not mine. Okay, girl. I've even dealt with stalking. 
and people come into my warehouse with cameras to harass and provoke reactions from me. And that's when the question was asked about if you feel like you've dealt with stalking, why are you dropping money on someone that literally did to come to someone's home? Um, just they people were wondering why why do you do that if you're against stuff like that? And then somebody else asked in the live in in my Instagram live, they were like, uh, if they if she feels unsafe, stalked, bullied, how do you send out a blast flyer to come to your house for strangers? And and, and as my as the trendy put it, where she she and her family lay their head, like it doesn't doesn't quite make sense. It doesn't quite make sense. Um, and again, just because people don't like you, being not liked and bullied is not the same thing. <laughs> It's not, it's not the same thing. And I feel like you were all for it and you got glee. We saw the glee in your face. Anytime they would group up on Melody, you included, oh, you were just a pig and slop, a pig and slop. So I, I, it's just like, I think what it is, is you don't like that you got pushed back on some things because you do it too. So it's not like you don't participate in it and you do it. And I just feel like you don't like the pushback. Um, let me see here. What else did she say? You name it, I've dealt with it. Well, and in the midst of all that, all that still I rose, not still, not, not my Angelo, still I rose like a F-U-C-K-I-N-G Phoenix. Huh? <laughs> I mean, you rose, you know how mummies rise up, <laughs> you know? The movie The Mummy, I mean, and zombies, they rise up too, you know. I, I don't know, because girl, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because you, you, you came in with nasty intentions. You stayed with your nasty intentions, your mama and her nasty intentions. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm going to call, I'm going to call it, you rose like walking dead. Where is Rick? Because <laughs> that's what you rose up like. Okay. Turned nothing to something and you can see it in real time the problem is it don't seem like you keep it because i do see some things uh like for instance i saw the shed that was in the backyard that she started out doing hair in i saw that so yes i do i do see the nothing into something but it seems like it's slipping through her hands like sand though that's the thing like if you would honestly focus on the business part, like I feel like you could, you could be so much further. Um, she says, I'm typically quiet. I don't buy that. I'm saying I don't buy that. Typically low key and don't be on no time but my business. I don't agree with that. Do you not recall how you what you did? <laughs> Do you not recall? <laughs> um, but when it's real life demons, here we go. Real life demons out there fighting to ruin your business, your character, and your life because they need to be seen as the victim. No, Stormy. Queen Sheba just said again, and this ain't the first time I heard it. She's still waiting on her products. Now she got her money back from her bank. She got her money back from her bank, but she was still waiting on her Canvas Beauty products that she did not get. And you blocked another person. I think it was Simone. You blocked another person that also didn't get their products, and you blocked them when they tried to reach out to you to get it um, to get it um, resolved. Um, so I don't think anyone's fighting to ruin your business. It's the truth hurting. The truth just hurts. Um, let's see what else. Right. Oh, fighting to ruin your character. We didn't, mm -mm. we just pointed out what we already saw. We, we didn't say nothing extra. And again, I'm going to point out like I did in my live that everybody that doesn't like you doesn't mean that they're a millimeter girl. They just don't like you. In fact, it was people in there that were saying like, they were still trying to ride for stormy as man. It was as it was pretty recent. Like they were still trying to ride for her and she personally just turned them off. So a millimeter, I promise you, recently would not have been riding for Stormy. And so it's just, they don't like you, girl. They don't like you. Um, let's see what else she says. Quiet goes out the window. Uh-huh. I don't remember when, I, I don't remember when she was quiet. I'm finally ready to talk about the things I've dealt with silently amongst the people who love and care for me. This is the paragraph that I'm going to do my best to be... I'm trying to be cognizant, aware, and I have to, I'm going to separate this paragraph to say this. 
Because when she said, I'm finally ready to talk about things I've dealt with silently, usually people that say stuff like that talk about self-harm, self-deletion and stuff like that, self-mutilation and stuff like that. So what I'm going to say on that is I hope you are seeking professional help with that. And this might not be the arena for you. It might not be the arena for you if it goes that far for you. It, it may not. Um, Because I'm not saying that that's not a real thought. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that you do receive a lot of criticism, but it's how you come off. It's just how you come off. Um, so that's, yeah, uh, I hope, I hope you are seeking professional help. I'm going to leave it there on that paragraph. Then it says not just business stuff, but everything the way I used to. The next thing I shared will leave y'all gagged because what I had to go through in January due to hate is something I wouldn't wish on nobody. We'll see what she says about January. I'm trying to think back to, well, I, I, anything extreme, I, I really wouldn't know about for January. So I don't, I can't even think back to it, but we'll see what she says when she says it. But all right. Okay. We do catch a lot of strays. We catch so many strays. My degree is real set. I hope Black Titanic's warrant for her arrest is still active, which is another thing that if the warrant was issued from Black Titanic to Stormy and the police actually issued a warrant, it seems like um, the one that was kind of getting the brunt of it was the one that, you know, the warrant was issued in favor of. Um, also, we did not show your bleeding dog with the lampshade. You showed that on your own live, just so you know, just so you remember that. So when people saw a bleeding dog in where you were supposed to have sanitized items that were going, you know, in their in their hair and other things, it's worrisome. It is worrisome. I don't know. I don't know, Purple Unicorn. She's talking about the podcast and I, I don't know. I honestly, the, the thing that uh, I feel like, because again, I, I saw Diana Rose. Now seen here for hot tea. I also saw Show Styles and Spirit. I gotta watch my Big Sis Chit Chats video. But um, it seems that she got into something that heated her up on that girls' trip they're just now heading back from. Um, and Melody had posted in her stories, if you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. And it was something else Melody had posted. So I think she had to go vent because she didn't get what she wanted out of it. Just like when she kind of got dismissed when she showed up in that rented vehicle to uh, the coffee or juice with Melody for Melody to tell her, I'm done dealing with mamas. Y'all remember that scene? And she showed up in her rented vehicle and everything and she didn't get what she wanted because Melody was like, if I was afraid of talking or didn't want to address something, why would I be sitting here with you right now? So I feel like she she might have got some more of that and didn't. that's not what she wanted. She might have wanted... She wanted, I think she wanted a destiny throw a chair moment, probably, and she didn't get that from whoever. So that's just what I'm saying. That thing still didn't send an alert, Miss Main Event. It's trying me. It's trying me. Okay, let's see. What else does it say? <sighs> oh, is that it? Was that it? Okay. Did I read everything? Yeah. But I just I this business part is getting me on other people trying to ruin her business. Why were they about to find you if y'all shipment was late during that expo time? Why were you going to be fine? Because that screams late as a pattern to me. Why were you going to be fined? And Black Titanic said that, okay, if y'all, if y'all, some of y'all have some sharp, sharp memories, but Black Titanic also said that the white, the white man, I think he had a ponytail. So not the one, not Matt. I think his name was Matt, not Matt. But a different one, um, the one that was in the warehouse and and Courtney was like, if we get down to two or three labels, uh, let us know. And I was like, oh, that's horrible. Like two or three labels. Like, first of all, y'all should be automated at this point. That man should not have to manually tell you you almost out of labels. But also, like, what do you mean two or three labels? Like, girl, you out at that point, you out. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is poor planning. And this was when I was still catching up. So I didn't even know all that stuff she was doing, like underhandedly I don't think some of it I was starting to kind of get caught up and some of it I didn't know and I was like this is bad business like what the heck what are you doing what do you mean when you get down to the three labels you should be like re-upping at like a couple boxes left of labels and things like that but anyway the white man 
Black Tie Tennis said that white man was uh, in a different part of that complex, not even working for Stormy. So it's giving extras <laughs> for a scene. Um, and maybe he jumped around. He might be freelance, but I'm just saying that's hilarious that she saw him in a totally different uh, area that had nothing to do with Stormy's business. Oh, hold on one second. Let me see. Oops. Hold on. She's not oh, shoot. Sorry. Not oh, shoot. Story. I'm over here playing. I wasn't trying to, but it started playing Danny stuff. Okay. I think it's uploaded. So let me show y'all how these trendies was acting a uh, plum good old fool. <laughs> uh, let me get it ready. And then I'll come back to look at y'all's comments before I start playing it. Oh, is she hosting it? I knew Melly was hosting this trip because these fellas could never. <laughs> Oh, Justice says Stormy is posting to try to get ahead of what was said in said to her on the trip, knowing it will air. Yes, they always do this. They always do that. So I could totally see that, Justice. Shan says she's holding on to the extreme people that may have called Target. Yeah, yeah, she's holding on to like that's not a group. That's like people that just they that's what they did. And let me say it again. Nobody asked anybody that's taken any of these actions to do them. Nobody asked it. Didn't encourage it either. None of those things happened. <laughs> None of those things happened. <laughs> they just, they honestly kind of just don't like you, Stormy. <laughs> let me go and grab my shirt now. <laughs> okay, let me see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daddy, you're cracking me up. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, she's just a hater. Hey, ADR. What do I want? All right, so this was the, the trendies on the live. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. So rally storm. Those are your court cases. That's just I mean that love me to talk about the stuff I suffered in silence. If it has to do with self harm, self deletion, I'm gonna say that I hope you're seeking professional help. And if anything drives you to that point, you may want to reconsider how you show up in the public eye and also uh how can i put it the the timing you you how can i put that the duration of exposure you know because nobody that i know advocates for bullying and things like that what it is is i feel like that that accountability be kicking they behind and then that, of course there's always some super mean people in the world there just is but um i don't take self-harm or self-deletion lightly at all but i'm gonna say that uh don't try to put it on a whole group of people and please i hope you're seeking professional help i'm trying to be very thoughtful about that part just in case because you know you hint to that you get people riled up and then you know you know I, I just I, I see some things and I just want to say nobody is over here hoping that someone takes their life like don't don't mm -mm. I, I just hope you getting the help you need if that's at all where you were alluding to because I know before she alluded to that um pre-love and marriage Huntsville right so yeah just I hope she's seeking help if it's going that far but, 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 if you posted that chess piece, girl, if you're going to do all that, just put a name on it. Just put a name on it at that point because you're doing too much. Um. Oh, thank you, pretty Ruby. Okay. I'm sorry because I, I saw it. I'm getting ready. Stormy, you're doing the most and your worst enemy is yourself. Those court cases, a millimeter did not bring a court case against you. Those are your debts. Those are your court cases. That's just the truth. And yeah, like Show Styles and Spirits said, I'm sure you do feel relieved that you're finally talking about it. But we didn't, we didn't take you to court. Girl, that's you not paying your bills. And yeah, I, I saw she put in there like, oh, people were taking advantage of me. 
who took advantage of you to get that G wagon before you were maybe financially ready? Who took advantage of you to get the house and land that you have and yet you don't take advantage of all that space to have done your products there and you keep going and overextending yourself? Who took advantage of you to degrade, apparently from the initial TikTok feedback was a great product, and then you started skimping. Who took advantage of you for that? Like the non-accountability is what's getting me on a lot. And then you keep, don't put Melody symbol in there to put it on her. Like, girl, that was your life. Nobody's running your finances but you. We keep hoping you actually get a real financial manager and get it together. Who, who overextended themselves to the point where you're, I know it was at least over, it was like at least a 1.5 million. It was probably more than that. Where you're alone through Apex and you and you overextend yourself and then y'all are getting fined for late deliveries that you talked about on the show. Not not us. We 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 didn't know you was getting fined for late deliveries. And I'm gonna say it's probably due to a pattern. That's my guess. That's not a fact. Um, and then how y'all were mislabeling your things and then you mislabeled again because you, you know, you made light of it in one of your Instagram or TikToks. Like, that's not us. That's not us. And those post office employees that said, stop blaming them about your packages being gone, girl, <laughs> around that Black Friday time last year. The post office employees said, don't be, don't, don't bring us in it. And that note you showed, they, they were saying it's real fugazi. That's not even how they would notify you if something like that happened. Um, so, mm-mm, mm-mm. Just, Whoever's rallying you up, and I mean like legitimately, not like you're going to put it back on the millimeters or or whoever. Like, Show Styles and Spirit, I think she said, she she guesses that it's Tisha rallying Stormy up. <laughs> and it probably is. Because <laughs> ain't nobody bother you. We... Oh, yes. Instagram sometimes does that stupid thing. Mr. Trent is my quality check. He said, Instagram's making my voice go deep sometimes. That's it's it's Instagram. <laughs> yeah, where yeah, where's the smoke for Tisha? Now I don't know the symbol for T Squad, so that might be part of the problem. But find out her symbol, Stormy, and put that up there, cause <laughs> that's not us. That's not, that's not us. You mad cause we just talking about the 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 true things, girl. Stop overextending yourself. Um, it's. You keep getting these wonderful blessings and chances, and you keep, like, where's your financial manager? I keep asking that question. Where is her financial manager? I don't think they got a symbol, D. <laughs> Trent, it's a group effort to blame the melodies for everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. And then, like Melody said, sometimes people just don't like you. Like, it's not the millimeters. Like, have you ever thought, like, you're just not a likable person outside of millimeters possibly not liking you? Yep. Puppets. Yep. She knows it's not us. She just wants someone else to blame for inadequacies. They keep trying it. They keep trying it. And this morning, I, I actually tried to show some a little bit of grace about that chess piece. I tried. But I can't let you be out here posting a, a gold chess piece and then you sending out these messages about all this stuff. Like, sh again, I'm going to allude to show styles and spirit. Like she said, like, okay, everybody has a different opinion on what happened. You know, no, nope, I ain't going to go there. Y'all watch Show Styles and Spirit video about it because she's better at talking about that than I am. But yeah, stop blame, stop trying to blame us. We didn't take out the loans, plural. We didn't not pay the company that's supposed to uh, fulfill your orders. We didn't we did not pay for the staffing that you received. Um, that wasn't us. Like that was you and your finances. We didn't do that. That had that has nothing to do with millimeters. Everybody's going to get mean comments. And again, it's not necessarily millimeters. It might just be people that don't care for you because of how you come across. That's on you. That's on you. Like, stop trying to group everybody together. Uh, Stormy is going to play victim this season, and we will always see the bull. And Stormy, why were you there at the live podcast? I want to know that, too. Why was she there? Because, girl, we, we of course, we're going to clock you. at. We already know you're not there for real support. Why were you there? You keep flip, not even flip flopping. You keep trying to hide your true colors, but we do see them. And 
I saw from Diana Rose that uh, Dr. Shanita Foster, who was, who was or isn't in over there on the girls' trip with uh, Melody, she was sworn she had to be like, y'all, it ain't me. I ain't do nothing, which Dr. Shanita, we did not think it was you. Um, but also she said she woke up crying because she just sees the the just ridiculousness that be coming for melody all the time and yeah like they always doing this stuff and then they go and then and and then to say that someone's gonna play victim girl that you're mm, mm -mm. the only thing that's holding me back a little bit is because i don't know what she's gonna share later and i don't make a joke of anything about self-harm and self-deletion so i'm really trying not to do too much but don't put that on us Mm -mm. Don't put that on us. You're a, you are, you chose to be a public figure before Love and Marriage Huntsville. And of course, you know how you came on. You know, you, you know who you knew before you came on. And yeah, you tried to use the angle of your company, but no, no, babe. Go back and look at, uh, Ooh Lady's first panel when they interviewed Melody and asked her directly. And then, of course, all of our, uh, detectives out there that was time clocking time stamping you and you know whose little relationship thing y'all had going on and all this other stuff don't act like you came on there with good intentions a lot of us tried to give you the benefit of the doubt you did not come on there with good intentions from the get-go so your foundation of everything you know what you were doing like don't don't do that like <sighs> And then trying to act like she's always been accountable and I'm going to say transparent and all these other things. Girl, if nobody talked about it on YouTube, you still would probably not be talking about the court cases and the struggles, which we actually would have rather have seen you be honest about those struggles instead of telling people you ain't got enough to come for me or, um, you know, like, uh, what'd she say? What did she say when she was on the couch with uh, Latrice? What did she say? B, I'm rich. That's all she said. I'm like, girl, as you were saying that, you had court cases and people chasing you down to serve you for debts owed. Like, for services rendered. That's not us. That's not us. Hey, Jay Taylor. <laughs> that ain't us. That's you. We don't have control of your finances. We don't have control of the access you have to product services rendered off of credit or whatever else. That's on you, boo. That's you. She's go ahead and enjoy her TikTok sales. Right, Scorpion Miz. She could just just enjoy your TikTok sales, girl. <laughs> I just saw Jason. She got her, uh, well, D. Okay, so did it get taken again? Because the one I saw, it definitely got taken. They gave it back. Uh, D put, she got her car taken last month. So um, there was one car that was officially repoed Per the court documents, go check out my video if you haven't seen it, because we got screenshots. Um, but it was given back after she settled or uh, paid that debt. But they had it in their possession. They had to put in a motion to the court to um, ask the court, okay, don't don't sell the car. We recovered our the debt from her, so you can return the car to her. So did we repo the car? I, I don't have a tow truck. I don't have a sheriff's badge. I don't I don't issue court orders. So how did how did Melameters do this to you? <laughs> okay, D, got you. Thank you, D. <laughs> how we do that to you? That wasn't us. That was not us. And so many other instances. Um I showed a timeline of her um a lot of her court cases dealing with her debt. Hey Lady T Bug. And that's nothing to do with any association with Melody. Nothing to do with us. That's her business practices. From the time she got that Apex loan, I feel like, yes, she did use some of it to fulfill the big box store orders, but I feel like a lot of it was used for personal, um, like, to just flex on the gram. Like, it was. And she, she keep underestimating and miscalculating because... She not at the, uh, what, are we on the third warehouse now? I think we're on the third warehouse. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's on her. Um, exactly. Well, okay. Sorry. I'm reading comments, but reading them in my head. 
<sighs> okay, let's see. Yes, yeah, she you didn't see anything on the post about Tisha saying pill popper. Yep. Yep, yep. That was all Tisha. Yep. I I don't know. Like the girl has she has a lot. Um I, I guess I'm gonna have to she's she's out now she's opening up about the court case. So we we'll repost the timeline to refresh everyone's memory, but we didn't do that. That that's you that's you. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired I'm tired of you story i'm tired of all of them i'm tired of tisha i'm tired of all y'all that y'all keep blaming somebody that has nothing to do with your business like did okay did we hire the lawyer for zen gardens to go against scope no that was marceau made the decision that he wanted to sue zen gardens they said oh okay bet and then they sued him back like Oh, we got you for a few things so let's let's go ahead and do this let's go so <laughs> we didn't do that we had nothing to do with that yeah black tie's head didn't go to harass her she came with cash to go pay for the products and i still respect people that have different opinions about how that uh if they would or wouldn't have gone but i do understand the the elderly community i do understand that like I understand what they were doing and being in like being living in living in country places I, we'd be going to warehouses like we don't even wait for the store we just go to the warehouses and we'll go buy them by the box and stuff and i think black titanic has set her pride aside to go on behalf of her elderly friends to go buy products to support stormy because her friends were like really excited to see a black woman in huntsville on tv doing the things and so they she was she was taking their money to still go and support um that way that one i understand uh that no black titanic did not necessarily possibly care for Stormy, but she wanted to bring back those products, like for real, for real, to her el elderly friends. Um, I, and the only reason I, I guess I can honestly, honestly get it is because I would go to the warehouses and buy my stuff directly too. Um, and hey, Money Making Melody fan page, I saw Melody to say hey to y'all. <laughs> How are you? I love that meme. Y'all, I'm still cracking up, still cracking up from that meme. Um, Yes, she does this all the time, trying to act like she's so supportive and being a snake. She does it all the time. Jason Jasmine said, you did get her, Stormy. You used to get her with the sound bowls. And you got me with the sound bowls, too, because I'm such a, like, I I love, like, I love stuff like that. And you got us for a little bit, because I wasn't catching on at first. So I'm like, oh, you know, this is great. Melody has somebody supporting her on the show. She's into sound bowls and meditation. Love all that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that meme was funny baby girl web yes uh money making melody fan page says i already know melody won whatever argument was had last night because tater head not tater <laughs> she said tater head ran straight to instagram i'm so done with y'all i'm so done with y'all um stormy just be about your business girl you gotta let it go because I'm going to tell you what, there are some people in this world that will still give you your third, fourth, fifth chance. And all you got to do is actually be about your business for real. Can you just do that? And then for us, don't worry about us. We just, we don't like you. And it's cool. Like, don't worry about us. But focus on your business. Girl. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, y'all talking to each other. Um, I might come back to it if I see anything, but... Uh, be on the lookout for Charnita's announcement that's coming hopefully today. It's supposed to come last night and I'm I'm laughing because she fell asleep because I be talking about my inner season lady and I think her inner season lady caught her and so she ended up falling asleep as well. <laughs> so um, be looking out for that. Keep your notifications on for me, please, because I have, uh, hopefully I'll be going live today and it may not be at the normally scheduled time. Um, oh, she is a Leo 2D. Dang. Stormy's a Leo. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stormy has been fake for so long, she don't know how to be real. I, I to see. And I, I would rather you at least stand in your, your, whatever you actually feel. Just feel that and stand in it. Don't go and then play like, like, it's coming from nowhere that people don't mess with you. Like, girl, you did it. 
Yes, we are not Stormy's tribe. Right, and true Invictus. Right. Hey, Danny. Thank you, Miss Peace. Thank you. Um, hey, y'all. We <laughs> Ayana said we don't claim her as a Leo. <laughs> I I know. I can't you know who oh, I ain't gonna say who else is a Leo. I ain't even gonna say it. I don't wanna conjure her up. I don't I don't wanna do it. Um Dang it. Reese, Reese the Diva just said it. Don't conjure her up, Reese. <laughs> um, yeah, she became the officer. We found out who she knew. Yes. For sure for us that kind of tried to hold out for her. That's That was it. That was the last thing. Last thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in this post I want to address. M but Money Making Melody fan page put an ad on theirs. So put an ad on yours, Stormy. Put an ad on it. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh like it's not always it's not millimeters like people just might not care about you girl <laughs> i supported stormy with her products but when her business went see now on my order that was it for me right like it's so funny now that she's addressing the f business f uh grade on the better business bureau it's very funny how she's addressing this now to try to like i i think she's saying it so then she can still say her talk her noise I, that's why I think she's saying it because she wasn't talking about that. If it wasn't for YouTube, I don't know who really be have who would have really pointed out her F business rating, her court cases, and and all that. I ain't, I ain't gonna do it right now. Scorpion Miz said, "Yep, stand on business, Stormy. Like, girl, just just own up to it and do better." Uh, from Paris, Stormy apparently posted this last night. Uh, check out. Diana Rose and Show Styles and Spirits uh, videos that they posted. But yeah. Oh, that would be funny, Bevy. Bev. She said maybe Mel said it in their argument. I don't know if she would or not. But <laughs> I that would be funny. Okay. Um, True T keeps her foot on Tater Head's neck. Yes, Kira Nicole. Yes, she does. Shout out to True T. She has the most appropriate name because she is, she is her name for sure. Miss Talkative said, but she still hasn't corrected the problems and gave them people their products. And she hasn't. She hasn't. Because um, it's not even just about pushing it out on time. Some people got partial orders and they never did get their products. Hopefully they have obviously gotten their refund through their card company by now. Um, but yeah, like those things are still happening. What happened to the Black Friday orders that you tried to blame on the post office? They said they be getting um, luxury brands in there. They not stating they not stating Canvas Beauty. That's what the post office employee said. Stormisha's intentions weren't well intended in the first place, and they weren't. How I see it, TV says so. The millimeters made her get sued and made her not ship orders on time. Exactly, exactly how I see it, TV because that's that's what I feel like you're saying. That's what I feel like she's trying to say. We didn't do that. True T is gonna D said True T is gonna rip Stormy a new one. And she is, she is. Then have the nerve to post a no refund policy. Right. Right. And that still gets me because not getting your order versus not liking your order is two different things. So how do you not refund someone that didn't receive their order? That's weird. Well, it's not just weird. That's that doesn't seem right at all. Um uh, from Paris with Love asks, what makes us, what makes people assume Mel and Stormy had a conversation to cause this outburst from Stormy? First, I am going to say it again. To get the best, best timeline and details, Show Styles and Spirit and Diana Rose's videos that they posted, go back and watch those. I'm going to try to give a quick summary, but I always feel like I don't do it justice. Um, Melody had some things she posted in her story. Uh, last night, Stormy posted some things in their story last night. They are currently on a cast girls trip together in the same place while they're filming for the new season. So, but please watch their videos to get the full thing. Cause I try to, I don't like partial. I try to do partial information. Right, right. So <laughs> Kieran Nicole said, okay, so the millimeters were at her warehouse mislabeling her products. Right. That was on us. Come on. The <laughs> Okay, y'all, hold on. Barbara said the millimeters went in a time machine and backdated complaints before they even knew her. Right, Barbara, make it make sense. 
Tussie said, when I didn't get my order from Stormy, I reported it to my bank. Yes, and that's what most of our financial people said. Don't even fight with Stormy no more about it or Canvas Beauty. Just just go to your bank if you can get your stuff. Um, That's for the people that it was a while ago. But, yeah, we didn't even know of her like that. And people were just supporting her company because, you know, um, they were just trying to support. True Tea is going to roast that tater. <laughs> um, How I See TV said, I know I say what I want on my channel, Mel doesn't know me from a can of paint in Lowe's. <laughs> Mel can't control my thoughts, opinions on her castmates. Right. Exactly. LaShawn says, so from now on, don't purchase anything that has a no refund policy. Now, I'm going I'm to give a caveat to that. Don't post, don't purchase things from, from companies you don't necessarily trust that have a no refund policy. Because there are a lot of companies that are trustworthy that still do no refunds because it's just not feasible. Uh, either the type of product, the logistics, and things like that. They don't seem to be following each other anymore. I I just, I heard somebody else put that in there. Hey, Shan. Oh, thank y'all for uh, the lashes compliments, too. I call her my lash fairy. I got these for mimosas with Melody. I'm probably going to keep them up after this again. But, yeah, that was my first time I saw my lash fairy in over a year. So, thank you very much for the compliment. <laughs> Trying to find a storyline. Hey, who said that? Let's see. Scorpion Miss said 2020 was the first year I saw her products on Facebook. I've actually had a lot of people come in and say, I why does she not why does she give up on a lot of the hair stuff? Because they actually, you know, now this is just some, but before all this stuff, some of them said that they did enjoy her her hair products. Like, I just say focus on your strengths and the people that are going to like you are going to like you. The ones that don't, don't. It's pitiful that the millimeters will be their storyline. They try so hard. They are trying so hard. So it's like, oh, we're not necessarily saying Melody is our storyline, but the millimeters, like, find something else. Show your business. Maurice, are we going to see you in court, by the way? Are we finally going to see you practice? Um, Ayes said her hair products work. I'm... Focus on your strengths. That's what I'm going to say. I didn't know who the hell she was prior to the show. <laughs> I didn't either. I honestly didn't either. Um, but and I was intrigued. I was intrigued. Danny said yawn. <laughs> yeah. Um, is she still making the hair products? Because I keep hearing different things about the hair products are not there or they are there. Now, the only reason I'm asking is because I don't know why you would go away from your golden goose. That's why I'm asking. I ain't going to use them. It's, I got 7th Avenue in this head, okay? The shine is coming from the daily oil drops from 7th Avenue, okay? Um, The deep, the deep mask. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can grab it. It, it stay close. It stay close by. Babe, it stay close by, okay? So it's 7th Avenue over here. So I ain't asking... For, for me, I'm just saying, I don't understand why you give up on your uh, <laughs> the things that apparently were the best things for you. <laughs> um, yes, Miss Talkative, Melody is indirectly still their storylines. Tussie said, oh my God, Tussie said, I think the bloody dog in her warehouse sealed the deal for Stormy and the health department. And that was filmed and showed by Stormy. That black the dog was not in Black Titanic's video. That was in Stormy's own live. We saw the lampshade dog. Shout out to True T because of Stormy's live. That wasn't on Black Titanic. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna say that because that did I, it didn't happen, so I ain't gonna say it. Uh you're going to see more recent court, but not representing anyone. That's what LaShawn said. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, it was her fault for posting the dog, baby girl. Okay, How I See TV said, Mel posted, quote, you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. And whether or not that was about her cast, I agree. Get off the show if you can't take the observations and opinions of the fan base. Right. Mmm, I see you, Barbara. I ain't gonna say it because I don't want they, I don't want their energy over here, but I see you. Thank you, uh, Miss Peace. She said the hair looks amazing. Yes. Who said that? Say yes. Seventh Avenue products I heard is wonderful. Yes. Uh, now I do have a filter on. I'll be honest. I have a filter on because this this is like having makeup on my face. So 
I'll be honest. But I also use 7th Avenue Skin Care products as well. I always say my parents gave me the genetics and then, well not always, I just started saying it once I started buying 7th Avenue because I didn't have a skincare routine before that. But my parents gave me the genetics because baby about to hit level 40 up in this thing this year. Um, and I'm going to use 7th Avenue to preserve the genetics that uh, I was blessed with. Okay, Miss Lady Scorpio said, I said when Stormy came on the show, it would hurt her business more than help. Once we saw her for who she really was, it only hurt her more. I agree. I agree. Thank you, Scorpio Miss. And I'm going to have a, uh, not a wardrobe change necessarily, but I'm going to have a hair change because I will be live with Jay Taylor and Chef Don Don tonight. And I'm changing my hair up uh, for, for their show. So this is for the daytime. Then we got a nighttime style coming. <laughs> um... Thank you, Scorpio Miss. Yes, we have opinions, D. Le okay, how do I say this? Larey. Oh my gosh. Larea? Larea said, I mixed my lemon drop scrub and original facial cleanser together and used when I saw Mel do it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Kira Nicole said, now Trini, you know the Melamies are responsible for the snake hitting the dog. Hitting <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Being exposed to her product. I'm so done with you, Kira. I'm done with you. I love the artwork in the back. You, look, pageant dad said, now how you not gonna have nothing in your background? So before I went live, he made sure my, that's my desktop background. <laughs> that's not my artwork. That's just my desktop background, but yes. <clears throat> yes, try Melody. Uh, oh my gosh, y'all the names. Oh gosh. Dishmar, try the try it. Um, sh uh, shout out to you for being a lupus warrior as well. Can't wait to hear y'all. Um, uh, I said what I said. Oh yeah, how much more time we got? Irreversibly blessed, Queen. She will trust me out because she'll uh, <laughs> she'll be changing that time on us sometimes. So what time we got for real? For real? Oh, Marley asked, can she come up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was looking for you, Danny. If you send the request. I'm going to say hi to Marley. <laughs> so, if you send your request, I'm going to do it. So, you let me know if, if uh, she is so cute. Her voice, Danny's daughter's voice, her, first of all, her name is Marley Janae. Bob Marley and Janae Eichel. Marley Janae. And her voice is so cute. And she'll be like, trending, trending. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to start crying. <laughs> like, it's too cute. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see. I'm y'all are hilarious. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh everyone has an opinion and Mel hasn't said anything. Everyone is not a millimeter, so they are deflecting. But Tisha definitely called her out on national TV. Right, right. That was a definite. <laughs> Several things Stormy did wrong, in my opinion, because some of those posts about her products right after Mel would post the launch of a new product didn't seem like a coincidence to me, in my opinion. And no, that's so true. Like, I wish it, I wish for her sake, just it had to be more natural. Like, it's weird. It was weird energy. Her words that she would put on the post were weird energy. Like, it's like you created this thing. Like, even when, okay, for instance, Let's see. Let's see. Let me see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to be a PR person right now. You life may have you doing similar things as other people. Right. And so if somebody or a group of people may be saying like, oh, it looks like you're copying. Like if, if you're not. Just pay it dust. Just pay it dust and your your unique creativity will shine as this person's unique creativity shines and everything that's meant for that person will still be meant for them and what's meant for you will be meant for you. And it's that simple. Like, it's not like to be so in your feelings about it. It's like, dang, girl, like what really happened? <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh, I like that point. If Stormy was truly affected by the warehouse incident with Black Titanic, she wouldn't have had the party at the place where she lays her heads and her family lays their heads at night. I know I wouldn't have no no unknown crowd just blasting out a flyer and I don't, mm -mm. like, come on. All they do is show 
how jealous they are of Melody, every last one of them. And it's so weird. Like, just live your life. But that's the thing. They can't show off. If they don't want to show their real struggles they're going through, they don't have anything because, like, just live your life. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Sorry. Um, let me see. Y'all are coming in strong. Hold on. Did you send it, Danny? I see you saying thank you. Okay. Stormy is in competition with Melody, but two black women can be in, can be in the same industry and both win. Exactly, Miss Peace. Exactly. Because Melody, I feel like Melody is in competition with herself. She is, <clears throat> I think Queen Sheba had just posted something like that. Somebody did. Wait, was that Malcolm? I don't know. Somebody just posted that I was in their stories. Um, just a lot. Most people are in competition with themselves, not with you. And just do better than you did the other day. Like, that's all. As told by Dennis, I've always thought that the warehouse is off limits, but come to my home. Right. That's, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah. Here, baby girl web said they both can do great things. So continue to do you and let male do male. They all got a fan base, right? You people do. They all have one. That's on them on how they fan base you know, shows up for them that ain't on very <laughs> Um, they just so don't get mad because everyone didn't flock to her, right? Exactly. Nobody's a hundred percent anything in this world. Oh snap, you can add moderators to live. Oh man, okay, that's cool. Okay. Oh, she left the room. Marley left the room. Okay. Stormy tried to undermine Mel's business after she announced the sugar mama line. That's what I heard. I had to catch up. I wasn't there for all that going down in real time, but that's what I saw as I tried to catch up with my fave people. Oh, that's cool. Hold on. Oh, that's neat. Oh, hold on, y'all. I'm, I'm playing with this ad moderator feature. <laughs> that's so cool. Hold on. Oh, you can only add one. Okay. Okay. So I added one. I was going to add two. <laughs> that's cool. I don't think I need it because ain't nobody out here like that, but that's cool. I did not know you could add a moderator. Okay. Yeah, um, I have no idea. And Chef Don Don said he did this on purpose. So tonight when I go on his Saturday Night Giggles with him and Jay Taylor, right? He said he didn't tell us the topics on purpose because he wants a raw reaction. So I don't know what he's going to ask us, y'all. Pray for me. Lady t looks. I just seen a pop-up. She had our support, but then she turned sour. Yeah, she did. Some people, some people... Probably y'all Scorpios out there. And of course, you know, just people that have, they pick up on certain energy that I didn't pick on. I didn't pick up on. I'm not going to lie. Um, but for, except besides the ones that immediately saw through Stormy, a lot of us were like, oh, okay, cool. We ready to support. And then she went funny. She blocked Journey to Jasmine, who really actually was like there like she was like really like cool for stormy and then jasmine said she asked her why you acting funny towards male and then she got blocked <laughs> but people were really out here like trying to support her if stormy put this much energy into getting her products right as much as she put energy into being a victim she will be just as liked by the people as much as male yeah she'll have her own group it might not be the same people but she definitely would have it It'd be fine. Oh, you saw the moderator pop up, Lady Tiba? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you just got to ignore the crazies. Like, yeah, Unique Monique. You just got to ignore the crazies. Thank you, Lorraine, she said. Your laugh is hilarious. Mel had you just giggling on your live. Yes! I couldn't even breathe. I love Kita said I wanted to support Stormy. She got weird. Scorpion Miz said, I was happy at first that she seemed to show up and befriend Melody. I'm telling you, like, it wasn't off rip or anything. How I See TV, y'all feeling me in. How I See TV said, and ever since Stormy, she made mention of her son's line after Mel posted Sugar Mama's products. We haven't heard a peep about her son's line. That's true. It's just facts, not shade. That's true. Where is it? That's true. I mean, I don't care. I don't care, care. I'm just saying, like rhetorically asking where is it like that's that's crazy oh yeah jasmine jersey jasmine needs to make the sims warehouse scene she probably already got it too 
I want to ask her that. Yeah, make the warehouse scene too. Ja Journey to Jasmine is making the um, Madani fight like a remake of it using her Sims. Like she's really been learning like a lot. So you got to check out Journey to Jasmine. Um, okay, I guess that even in January, I wanted to give her another chance. She keeps doing the most. Exactly, exactly. Shan, Shan, okay. Go check out Diana Rose and Show Styles and Spirits video. I'm gonna try to give you a brief, brief, brief synopsis. Hey, my sweet sis 41 fit. Um, Stormy got in her feelings last night. She put a golden chess piece in her stories and then she went on her rant. And that's why I'm up here talking. Well, I'm, I'm up here to talk about other stuff too, but that's the main thing right now that we've been talking about. Um, yeah, she made a point to put the golden chess piece and then do her rant. So it's like, girl, all right. Mm hmm. And that's the thing too. People, people are still discovering how cool TikTok is. If it's millions of people on there, like, girl, like, that's like saying, oh, somebody came on Instagram because I did. No, because um, Baby Girl Web commented, in my opinion, she's mad. Mel's going over to TikTok now, but Stormy already big, air quote, big over there. So what's the big deal? I agree. I agree. Um, And that's weird. It's millions of people on the platform. And Melody said people... Her people, like us, kept begging her, can you also be on TikTok? Mel was not stating TikTok. It wasn't like that. It was that we kept asking, like, hey, we want to see you on TikTok. Please. So she finally, 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 finally did TikTok. I think her, her people, too, like her actual circle of people that make the magic happen was saying, you, you need to be on TikTok, too. That was not, like, that's weird to think somebody copying you because they on TikTok. Like, girl, it's a whole platform. Dang, she accused Melody of a lot of stuff. I'm reading this, these comments. Ah, uh, yeah, Shay said, call the po po ho. <laughs> Shay, and like Show Styles and Spirits said, let me go ahead and say this since we, since we bringing up Shay. She was just standing there with like Titanic, and then when they started coming at her, then she said, oh, it's pop off time. How I see it said, I peeped her energy wasn't right after that Madani scene when Destiny said, look at the marketing queen and Stormy going to respond dead ass. Then all those hangouts with the Scots during TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Danny said, hey, Shan. Uh... Yeah, I guess says we have multiple content creators and we support who we want. We can support multiple people. Stormy got to stop this craziness. And do. And do. Okay. <laughs> Danny said, Melody is the reason I have student loans. Shaking my head. Right, let's just blame Melody for our debt, apparently. <laughs> like, stop. Stop it right now. I'm so, I'm so, it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No, because when I saw that gold chess piece, I said, oh, that's what y'all were saying. I was thinking of the chess piece that was just, um, part of her like outdoor area in her home, but I didn't know she was like just posting it and then then doing it to talk noise. <laughs> um, y'all, I can't do it. I can't do it, y'all. Scorpion Miss said Melody is the reason she has bunions, right? Because at this point, it's like thanks Obama. Like everybody would blame Obama. Thanks Obama. <laughs> like y'all gonna blame Melody for everything. <laughs> 7th Avenue is, right, Kira says she probably mad because Melody's on a work vacation and 7th Avenue is still being shipped out on time. And is, and is, <laughs> how I see it, said not bunions. 41 fifth said Melody. <laughs> She's mad. 41 fifth said Melody is the reason for my weight gain. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my gosh. In a nutshell, Tussie said, in a nutshell, the scoundrels are jealous that Melody has a massive following and she's winning in all areas. Right. Because they were not mad. Nothing was being said when they were um, freely able to gang up on her. Then nothing was being said, right? And let me repeat this too. 
because Melody said on her TikTok live, thank you for answering my question, Melody, because I had asked if um, anybody on the cast was coming at her about millimeters while they were filming this current season. And she said she can't talk about stuff that hasn't been shown yet, but she said she still had, she had a lot to say. She had a lot. I love it because, yes, they, you have said it straight. But she said, I can't say, I can't talk about that, but I am going to say this for anyone that's trying to come at me about millimeters. I'm going to ask you, what did you do for them to even say anything about you or to you? And she said, what did she say? Oh, she said, sorry, y'all, I'm trying to make, make sure I get it right because I don't want to get it wrong. She's, I have a million things running through my head now because why, yeah, why am I getting flustered? I just brought up Melody and I already got flustered. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> She said that. If you can't control your own people that you can actually pick up a phone and call about their actions, how do you expect me to control a group of people that, you know, she doesn't know us like that? How do you expect that? How I see a TV says the melamines are the reason I got an Uber Eats and Starbucks addiction. <laughs> said melody is the reason it's raining here <laughs> she said damn you melody <laughs> leslie said it's melody's fault i was born black melody <laughs> reese reese said melody is the reason my seven-year-old keeps calling everyone bro Hold on. 41 Fist said, can we have a sidebar about this look? Oh, sis, sis, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sweet sis. Oh my gosh, again, we go to 7th Avenue on that hair, on that hair, 7th Avenue. Um, and I am 4C, in case y'all don't know, I did post my a picture when I posted my review of Melody's hair products, I posted a picture with my fro, the back of my fro, because I wanted to show the texture. And yeah, I am 4C. So when I tell you I'm enjoying the products, I really am. Danny said, because we love her. <laughs> oh, wow. Big, big. Okay, this is, uh, this is, uh, she said allegedly in her opinion. So it was purely allegedly, but Big C Nice, C Nice, C Nice said, because of Stormy's TikTok ad campaign, my daughter bought me Coco Body Glaze. And I, she said that Vaseline based body butter broke me out allegedly in my opinion. Y'all, the Vaseline based body butter is taking me out. It's, Miss Lady Scorpio said it's Mel's fault that I gained this weight. How I see a TV said exactly. Storbin can't control her mama, but Melody should control virtual strangers. Scorpion Miss said Melody's the reason we got two feet of snow today. <laughs> so Danny said Melody is the reason my hubby's PTO was denied. <laughs> yeah, who said that? I, I came ready. I had time today. I got time today. This Saturday is a basically a kind of a free Saturday. So I got time. <laughs> uh, Nye, New York lady, said it's Mel's fault. I can't stop eating after 10 p.m. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not, some of y'all, I can't, I can't do it. I can't read it. But y'all are hilarious. Um, Forty One Fifth said Mel's also the reason that she don't have a wagon yet. Talking about them cakes being caked up. Um, <clears throat> Noreen said, when you're real, real people support you. Right. How I see it says, so the Melometers made Tisha blast Stormy for allegedly not paying the people in Huntsville during, Huntsville during the re, during the season. Right. Or during the reunion. Right, right, right. I love Keita said, it's Mel's fault. I'm hungry. <laughs> Scorpion Miss said, I'm crying. <laughs> y'all, y'all cracking me up. Okay, now let me know this. Are y'all coming tonight? to the to, to Saturday Night Giggles because you, you see, you already see I can't control myself so Chef Don Don J Taylor, y'all coming tonight uh, to their show, I'll be a special guest, I'm the first special guest, I'm so excited I I can't, I can't when I tell you I don't, I don't know how to put it I, I've been very honest bef uh, previously to say that sometimes I would just be like 
oh man like why can't i be doing that or why isn't it like why isn't this happening like this for me and then like i have to center myself and be like it's not my time yet it's just not my time i'm so happy right now um 41 fifths and i'm gonna be there danny said yep i'm coming yes scorpion miz is coming english the texas realtor said yes English the realtor saying Melody's the reason black closed for a couple days. They're going to try to blame her some kind of way. Um, oh, you're ordering in. Hey, bravo, Vivian. 41 fifths. I'm going to cut all the way up. Oh, and when y'all come, y'all put the yellow hearts and graphs in the chat to let Chef Don Don know the Trinities are here. And yes, I know y'all are Don Dons too, but put the... <laughs> Put the yellow heart in the grass in the chat for, uh, to let them know. Let me know. Because I might, I won't be able to shout y'all out individually, but I'll be looking. I'll be watching y'all. I'm glad who said that. I'm glad. Yeah, like, we're not going to be playing these games. We're not going to do this. <laughs> hey, Kenya. Yeah, but we, we are. We're good over here. Just live your life, girl. And girl by girl, I mean Stormy. Just live your life. Focus on your business, and pe people can't take away what's meant for you. Like not, not, not that kind of stuff. Like yeah, somebody could do a short term something sometimes, because that's why people get done wrong every day. But what's meant for you, that's meant for you. Ain't nobody touching your stuff. If someone made a complaint, they probably felt it was valid, and I have heard some valid reasons myself. Did I go out and complain against Stormy to anybody uh, formally? I did not. I just stated my opinion on some things. Um, you know. It is what it is. Girl, just do right. <laughs> You'll be okay. Hey, say yes. I'll be there. LJ say yes. Oh, Hatsunook said I'm, I am coming there all the way from London, England. Thank you. That's going to be late for you. I thought it was going to be late for me. That's really late for y'all. That's like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, probably later. Um, Tissy said breeze stormy. We are allowed to have an opinion, 41 Fit. And, and here's the thing. You can't tell me that not I won't okay I can't say specifically if Stormy did or didn't but you can't tell me as someone that is on social media you've never gone and seen a post and you'd be like hmm you give an opinion under that post like people do that so Stormy with you being a public person then people are giving their opinion on some stuff and it is what it is <clears throat> Danny said all my energy is directly to Melody I could care less about old girl mm-hmm we are allowed to report facts, right? Forty-one fit. Irresistible blessed that and what? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna get off for now. I'll either see y'all on the YouTube live that's coming before Chef Don Don and Jay Taylor's show today. Um, go to Chef Don Don's YouTube because that's how it'll be streamed when I'm on there with them. It'll be on his YouTube channel. But I am going live myself later on this afternoon or evening, depending on some things. Oh, Nubian TV apparently announced that episode four is going to be aired next week. And it was just the uh, on demand for one, two, three this time. Episodes one, two, three. Uh, so we'll see. I'm, I have, I didn't go back to look for myself. That's just what I've heard. People have come and let me know. Um, when it comes to you, no time is late for me. Thank you, Hatanu. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'll be, if I'm not back on Instagram, I'm going to be live on my own YouTube today. And then I'm going to be over there with Chef Don Don and Jay Taylor. So I hope y'all enjoy it and have a great time. Thank you for keeping me company. And yeah, those are just my thoughts and opinions. They're a little bit jumbled because I'm like, oh, no, it, nah, uh nah, uh <laughs> So. Okay, I'm still here. That was the replay from earlier this morning because I didn't want y'all to leave. Don't leave. I got to pop the truck. Oh, um, <laughs> hold on. Let me see here. So thank y'all. Yeah, I was like, let me uh, let me show y'all what happened on Instagram early this morning. They was cutting up. The trend was cutting up in the comments. Yes, Mel is the reason why. Hashtag Mel is the reason why. They were cutting up. <laughs> Read this to keep my composure. So first of all, Teresa, we got to pop the trunk for earlier. She said... Towards those beautiful lashes I saw you wearing, pop that trunk. Okay, because look, Lash Fairy, because she do well, the, you know, she's not, she, she, so look, I'm going to put this towards the next time I got to go get my refill, because, uh, yeah, they are addictive too. Um, <laughs> and then Tyrese, Tyrese, Tyra, Tyra Daniel said, Trinity, 
Is that you all so beautiful? Thank you, Tyra. So I got to pop the trunk for my people. Hold on, because we going. <laughs> I got to find it. We going. All right. We going. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. Okay, okay. Oh, I got some updates from Chef. I'm so excited. Y'all, I'm so excited. It's tonight. Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh, okay. Yes. Let me. I'm over here about to respond to him like he over here. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. Please come tonight to Chef Don Don's channel. I can't wait to do this. I'm a, I, I, look, no shame in my game on this one. I'm be like, if y'all ever just need to have a third person after I know you're going to go through all the great people that you are going to have because they're going to be, they are a great show. They're going to get greater, but put me just on standby because I will come back. I'm so ready to do this. Oh, put me on repeat. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> Monique. Yes. Mel is the reason why <laughs> I had to make sure y'all saw that. Cause y'all, it was cutting up. 41 fifth said Mel's the reason why she ain't got no wagon in the back. Took me out. A lot of them took me out. Kenya said, keep shining. Thank you, Kenya. Oh, let me see. De <laughs> and that wasn't me. They naturally started that in the chat. I didn't. Well, oh, you know what? Okay, I see how we symbiotically started it. Because I was saying we weren't the reason why she was in court. And then, like, we just took it from there. So, thank y'all. Y'all made it way more fun than it was in my head. Mel is the reason my water is I, and I'm in the bed. <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, Cinnamon Swirl. That's one of our Leos. Mel is the reason why it's flooding out here in New York. I'm telling you. Yes, Kenya, we need a way to laugh because they really be trying it. They be trying to have us mad. And I'm like, nah, you ain't going to get We going to still find a way. <laughs> yes, Kimberly. Oh, let me, because I couldn't talk earlier. Let me bring up the, the shot one more time with the with the cases. Um, and this is just the ones I currently know about. This is not all inclusive. Let's keep that part straight too. But May 2022, UPS supply chain, they couldn't reinstate. That's the ones they was chasing her down. They couldn't find her, so they had to come back later. June 2022, Crestwood Medical. April 2023, Old Dominion. June 2023, American Express National Bank. That's when they opened them up, but a lot of them didn't get closed out to 2024, either through settlement or default. June 2020 or July 2023, Labor Source, August 2023, Jackson Field, October 2023, UPS supply chain came back. They circled the block. And then, of course, Apex, I didn't have their timeline, but I think that was what, 2022, possibly? <laughs> But yeah, so let's not let's not do this. And yeah, I know now she's like, I claim my losses. I'm out in the open. No, you just gonna have to talk about it now because you know it didn't came out so hard. Z Frenchie replay gang gang. Yes. Okay, y'all. I gotta go prep. I gotta get ready to be back on camera this tonight. So I will see y'all on uh, camera again. So I can't wait. I'm gonna see y'all. Here's the link again. Nightbox posting it for uh, the show with Jay Taylor and Chef Don Don. I enjoy y'all and keep your notifications on for my YouTube channel because and Instagram because there's still an announcement coming. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all, we have a sporty car. I can't tell if that was actually Mr. Trenton or someone trying to show out for Mr. Trenton. I actually can't tell. Sorry about that though. Um, but we have a sporty car so everybody feels they have to rev up when they come by our house. That's what that is. But um. What was I saying? Come, oh, keep your notifications on because there is still an announcement, a special announcement coming for Charnita's World. So stay on her Instagram page, of course. Keep your notifications on for mine. And yeah, we will we will get it. We will get it done. I can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, Philly's Girl for Lisa. I'll be at a concert, but I'll watch the replay. I know you will do well and have fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Why 41 fit posting the links to the past court cases? Girl, I love it. That's that uh she on her Shan right now too, because Shan will be trying to post them links. Okay. All right, y'all. Chinita, push the button. Push the button. Yes, Drea. <laughs> Gwen said every month, but September, December. Yes, Gwen. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> 
All right. We will talk soon. I enjoyed y'all. All right. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm trying to find my song. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. I've been taking my time. I've been taking my time. Taking all of your time. Taking all of your time.